Hello, 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 welcome back. We are exactly where we left off, except for I gained a few items. Because uh, I went to speak to Mission, and Zalbar, and Kandorus, and what have you. And they gave me, like, some stimulants, and some grenades, and uh, Mission made me a couple of computer spikes, and all that sort of stuff. Uh, that's not loud enough for me to hear. <laughs> Is that loud enough? That should be loud enough. Hello. Welcome to the Jedi Enclave on Dantween. I do not believe we know each other. My name is Deezra Lurjada. You may call me Deezra. I have not heard of any new apprentice being accepted for training recently. What brings you to this place, if I may ask? Uh, I came here with Bastel. I'm, my business here is my own. Oh, I see. Very well. I have no wish to make you uncomfortable. I suppose I shall just wish you had a good day then. I can't remember who Deezra is. I'm not quite sure. Um, I'm hoping I get my Jedi robes fairly soon. Hello. You there, Padawan? Why are you not wearing the customary robes of the Jedi? Because I'm not a Padawan. The traditions of our order. I believe you are mistaken. I am not a Padawan. I am Dick of Cards. <laughs> I came here with Bastila. Bastila, I have heard of her. They say she has already mastered the art of battle meditation. Remarkable in one so young, though I've heard she has a foolish pride in her own talents. But she as does. for you, you claim you are not a Padawan? I find this hard to believe. The Force is strong within you. I can feel its presence. If this is some type of jest, it is in very poor taste. The Jedi Order is not a subject for jokes. Um, I didn't come here to be scolded by you. No, I suppose you did not. I apologize. Please forgive the abruptness with which I first greeted you. It was harsh and perhaps unfair. My master often warns me that I must learn to control Ooh, fuck, I've started eating things. <laughs> I have much left to learn. I wish you a pleasant Ooh. stay here on Dantooine. Let me just scoot back a little bit. I'm a little bit too close to my desk. Uh, so yeah, I've been thinking about the second game. Uh, which isn't a healthy thing to do when you're nowhere near done with the first game. But I'm definitely going to be playing as a woman in that game. Because I was looking at some of the companions... Uh, in this game, and somehow wandered onto the ones on that game, and uh, I've got the wrong way. And there's a companion on there that I've never had, and I think he's called like David or so. I can't remember. Apparently, uh, I, I've got the word disciple in my head, and I don't know why. I feel like he's a disciple for something. Oh, hello, here he, here's Calf. They're waiting for you inside. All right. Cheers. Ah. So you are the one who rescued Bastila. It is appropriate you are here. We have been discussing your rather special case. I am Jar, a member of the Jedi Council. With me are Master Vrook, Master Vandar, and of course the chronicler of our academy, Master Dorak. Padawan Bastila, I am sure you are already familiar with. Um... Uh... Isn't the Jedi Council on Coruscant? Yes. The High Council of the Jedi Order is on Coruscant. But we are the council in charge of the training facility here on Dantooine. Right. A.K.A. we don't have the rights to use anything canon. Um, What do you want from me? Bastila tells us you are strong in the Force. We are considering you for Jedi What's training. What's on your head? Why do you look like that dude from Little Nicky? Um... Sure. Master Jar speaks out of turn, perhaps. I don't like him. We need indisputable proof of your strong affinity to the Force before we would even consider accepting you for training. Proof? Surely the entire Council can feel the strength of the Force within this man. And I've already related to you the events that took place on Terrace. Perhaps it was simple luck. We both know there is no luck. There is only the Force. We all feel the power in Bastila's companion, though it is wild and untamed. Now that this power Sorry, has I'm gonna have to wait. I've got an itchy back. Can we safely ignore it? The Jedi training is long and difficult. Oh, I stretch while they yapper on about whether or not I should become a Jedi. Teaching a child is hard. Come on, let's speed it up a bit. Um <laughs> of course, great Jedi, I will learn your ways and follow the light. Traditionally, the Jedi do not accept adults for training. Fuck I off agree you. agree with Master Dorak. Many of our own pupils are leaving the Jedi Order to follow the Sith teachings. 
We need recruits to stand against Malak. With Revan dead. Are you certain Revan is truly dead? What if we undertake to train this one and the Dark Lord should return? We should discuss this matter more fully in private. Bastila, oh, you shit. and your companion must go. This is a matter for the Council alone. As you wish, Master Vandar. We shall return to the Fucking Epilogue hell. and leave you to your deliberations. God, I've just, I've just ran off. It's like, yeah, fuck with shit. Oh, we're having a little flashback. I wonder why... I wonder why he said me being trained as a Jedi could bring Revan back. Aha, we're having a little Starforge thing. There's Malak and Revan. Malak with his mouth, by the looks of things. The dark side is strong in this place. I can feel its power. It looks like Avatar a little bit. Revan's tiny. Is this wise? The ancient Jedi sealed this archway. If we pass beyond this door, we can never go back. Unless Malak's just tall as shit. So this is but when the they, they will lie. So valuable. Can its power truly be worth the risk? And Malak wasn't fully into it. But Revan was like, nah, bitch. Do as you're told. There we go, there's the star map. This morning's getting stranger by the minute. First Bastila comes out looking like she saw a ghost, and now you. Well, Bastila hmm? did mention that you should go to the council chambers before she left. It's no doubt urgent, so you shouldn't keep them waiting. Right, okay. Let's go. You got it. Uh, we're not taking Calf with us. Um, in fact, are we? I'm taking Candorus. I guess I'll take Zalbar. What? I can level Zalbar up a little bit, what we got. Get him some demolitions and some treat injury. Uh, what else do we want him on? Something ranged. Sniper shot. What? There he goes, Albar. Oh! Despite helping your Taris, Candorus continues to be something of a mystery to you. It might be a good idea to try and get to know him better. I will do that off camera because I don't like sitting through conversations that I can't really interrupt. Le Arcasula. Who are you? Whoa! Hello! Um, sure. Okay, his ranch is really difficult with Mandalorian raiders. Oh my god, Mandalorians still exist. Like, proper, the, like the Mandalorian wars haven't happened. So wait, what? Um, kidnapped. Right, so someone's been kidnapped. Oh, okay. Um, are problems with Mandalorians common on Dantooine? Uh, behind the conflict, someone native to this planet could tell you more. Alright. I'll keep my eye out for you, girl. So I didn't know that Mandalorians were just still like... Like, because in the second one, they're quite a rare thing. I know that you find, like, a moon inhabited by uh, survivors. But I think the Mandalorian Wars have happened at that point. And a lot of Mandalorians die... Obviously, because it's the Mandalorian Wars. Um, oh, we've got to speak to the council, haven't we? I was like, wait, what are we doing? I'm just running around, gallivanting. Because obviously, Kandorus is a Mandalorian, but he doesn't wear the armor. And we killed Bendix Starkiller. He was a Mandalorian. Bastila has told us of a most unusual development. She claims you and she have shared a dream. A vision of Malak and Revan in the ancient ruins here on Dantooine. These ruins have long been known to us, but we believe them to be merely burial mounds. Perhaps <sighs> more than we first suspected, if Revan and Malak found something there. Mm. Yes, they seem to be searching for something. Bastila has described this shared Bastila. dream to the Council in great detail. We feel it is more than a dream. It is a vision. The Force is acting through you, as it acts through Bastila. Now, obviously, I know why it's acting through me, but I don't get why it acts through Bastila. I guess we find out um, as the game progresses, but I don't actually remember. Um, I trust in your greater wisdom. You and Bastila share a powerful connection to the Force. Whatever That's what we need to know. dangers may lie ahead, 
We cannot ignore the destiny that has brought you and Bastila here to us. Together. So, oh, okay, 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 okay. So I think it's the same thing that happens in KOTOR 2 with you and Kreia. I can't remember, it's like a, a some sort of like force link. So that, like, whenever Kreia got hurt, you got hurt, which was, it wasn't like a thing in gameplay, it was just like a hypothetical story thing. Um, but I'm assuming this is the same thing. So, are you saying I'm joined with her? You and she are linked, as is your fate to hers. Together, you two may be able to stop Darth Malak and the Sith. Well, do not let your head be filled with visions of glory and power. Such thoughts are the path to the dark side. The way of the light is long and difficult, as you must learn. Are you ready for such hardship? Of course, Masters. I seek to follow the light. Good. It is well that you see how important this is. Understand that there is little choice in this matter, for you or us. Across the galaxy, the numbers of our order dwindle. The Sith hunt the Jedi down like animals, ambushing and assassinating our brothers wherever they are found. Other Jedi have fallen from the light and embraced the dark side, giving their allegiance to the Sith and Malak, their dark lord. I can't remember if... Did Mandalorians fight Jedi and Sith? I don't know. I don't know what happened to the Mandalorian Wars. Um, do not fear, Masters. I will not fall. If Malak is not stopped, the Republic will fall, and the Jedi will be hunted to extinction. The Council has decreed that you and Bastila must investigate the ancient ruins you dreamed of. Once the Council deems you ready. Perhaps there you will find some clue, some explanation of how Revan and Malak were corrupted. Alright, okay. Of course, Masters, anything to further the light. Mm. Yes. Your devotion is most commendable. Before we send you to investigate the ruins, you must be trained in the ways of the Jedi, so that you can resist the darkness within yourself, within all of us. Alright, sure, I surrender myself to the will of the we Council. Must begin your training at once. I can only hope you will prove up to the task. The I really don't like chosen to walk is difficult. Intensive training will prepare you physically for the demands of the Order. Meditation oh. will teach you to channel the She's power She's proper belting us, isn't she? To truly understand the way of the Jedi, you must open your mind to knowledge. Seek wisdom in the teachings of the great masters of our Order. A Jedi is never alone. Others in the Order will always stand by you. You and Bastila share a special bond. Do not be afraid to turn to her when you need help in your training. The way of the Jedi is difficult. It requires great discipline. Oh shit, look, now I'm on the offer. Even though you are a mere apprentice, making things levitate. your potential is unlimited. And your progress, amazing. In all my years, I have never seen one who has mastered the initial training so quickly. You have done in weeks what many cannot do in years. I am honored to welcome you fully into the Jedi Order. Sweet Soon your beans. apprenticeship will end, and you will be granted the title of Padawan, the lowest rank of those within the Jedi Order. Alright, sure. So what must I do to prove myself? In the traditions and customs of our Order, as handed down from master to pupil for a thousand generations, you must successfully complete three tests before you... Alright, three tests. Let's get the tests over with. These tests will see if you have truly mastered the training you have been given, both mental and physical. Upon completing these tests, you will pass from apprentice to Padawan and join in the ranks of the Jedi. First, I will test your knowledge of the Jedi Code. Oh no. These tenets must always I need a pen. Your actions. Because I think this is like a remembrance you thing. You must always be conscious of their Shit. wisdom. You must prove you have a Jedi's understanding of the Code. Return <laughs> when you feel you are ready for this challenge. Frantically looking around for a pen. Um, right, let's Greetings. let's try it. I'm ready to continue my training. In the traditions and customs of our order, as handed down from... Right, okay. These I'm ready tests. for the test. First, I will test. You must now prove you have a Jedi. There is no emotion. Um. 
Oh my god, there is the lie. That is not correct, Apprentice. <laughs> there is no shame in admitting weakness. Return when you feel... Should we just... <laughs> <laughs> Just keep on asking him. Soon you're up the traditions. <laughs> what would it be? These there is no emotion. Dispersed. You must now prove there is no um emotion. There is the force. That is not correct. <sighs> there is no shame in it. Return when you feel you. <laughs> God damn it! All right, fine. Maybe we can just simply ask Bastard. Oh, Bastard is not here. Maybe we can simply just ask somebody. Oh, there she is. What the answers are. Hello. If you have questions, you should direct. All right, fine. Greetings, young apprentice. Oh, I don't like you. Mandalorian. Um. The history of the Jedi. I see knowledge of the Jedi. Code. Jedi must know the code. There is no emotion. Peace. There is peace. Peace. There is no ignorance. There is knowledge. Peace and knowledge. There is no passion. Peace, knowledge, serenity. serenity. There is no chaos. Peace, there knowledge, is serenity, there harmony. Is no death. Peace, knowledge, knowledge the serenity, to harmony, the force. Peace, knowledge, you wish. serenity, harmony, the force. Peace, <laughs> knowledge, serenity, harmony, Greetings. the force. Quicker, Soon quicker. In the traditions and Peace. These tests will no, see knowledge, <laughs> serenity, the harmony, and the force. First, we must now prove there is no peace. Peace. There is S knowledge. There is no pa peace. Knowledge, serenity. There is no care. Harmony. There is no death. And the force. You have learned your study, but first you. you must pass the second test and learn about <gasps> the most prized possession yes, of yes, the Yes. 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 The very yes, 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 a lightsaber, yes, 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 a lightsaber, yes, I'm skill. dabbing and I'm doing things Dedication with my hands all over my body, and each lightsaber is as the blade Give me it. is made, of, and now Come on. it is your time. Dorak, yes, what crystal do we want? We want a lovely red one. I don't think it actually really matters. <laughs> Uh, hello. You're... The time has come for you to choose the color of your lightsaber. What colors are there? Blue is the color of the Jedi Guardian. This Jedi battles against the forces of evil and the dark side. Yellow is the color of the Jedi Sentinel. This Jedi ferrets out deceit and injustice, bringing it to light. Green is the color of the Jedi Consular. This Jedi seeks to bring balance to the universe. Oh, okay. So... Number one is Gryffindor, number two is a lawyer, and number three is a hippie. Let's go with a lawyer. Indeed. We shall see. I will now ask you questions and your response. Oh, a woman shit, and her everyone. small child are beset by a desperate looking group of thugs. They're menacing her with weapons, and she screams to you for help. What do you do? Kill her. <laughs> um... Uh... Attack the thugs? Indeed. Very well. You are in combat with a dark Jedi allied with the Sith. There is a pause in the combat. What do you do? Kill him. Yes, I suspected as much. Now for the next question. There is a locked door, and your goal lies on the other side. What do you do? Bash it down. <laughs> I'm beginning to see a pattern here, apprentice. I have a feeling about what you would I don't do think any of this that. matters and you but get to pick first, anyway. The final question. You are the head of an enclave on Ooh. a contested world. The Dark Jedi have infiltrated and are causing unrest across the planet. What do you do? Kill them. Hunt them down. Um, Hunt them down. Yes, I thought as much. Yes, as I thought I as much. You would be most suitable as a Duh, Jedi. we're going to get a blue one. path do you believe yourself? Well, I'd like yellow, to be quite honest with you. But, I mean, if you'd recommend Here blue, then... a blue then... crystal for your lightsaber. Go speak to Master Jar again, and he will instruct you in how to construct it. Wait. Wait one minute. So we're just being handed the crystal. I thought we have to, like, go to a cave and, like, get the crystal ourselves and, like, forge it together and stuff. Or do we just... Do we get it before, then? Um... I need to be putting some more stuff into Persuade when we get to Juhani. Um, that's very important for me. Let's get improved slash, like master slash or whatever it is, master flurry or whatever. Um, oh, we've also, I've just realised that we're getting a force power now. We're getting two. Um, 
what do we want? I don't know. I guess lightsaber throw is a pretty good one. And lightning. Oh no, wait, we can just straight up upgrade the lightning. Fucking do that. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck that shit, I'm out. Right, get some stuff put in. Some random stuff put in. It doesn't really matter what at this stage. Um, Zalbar. Oh, what am I doing? There you are. Uh, let's get some more put into strength. Demolitions. And treat injury. Oh, bugger. Put one in repair. Who are we speaking to? Is it Rook? I see you insist. No. <laughs> Zar. Bandar. Who? Who? Is it you? Did he say Zar? Zar. Ah, good. Now that you have selected your crystal, we shall begin the construction of your lightsaber. I feel like you're tricking me here. No, we are legit going to do it. There's... no. Surely not. Oh, fuck. <laughs> well, fuck me up. Um... Holy shit, so... I'm assuming... Oh, power crystals! Aren't they, like, what you can do to increase things? I don't know. <laughs> well, fuck. Fuck me sideways. We've got a fucking blue lightsaber. Holy shit. That was easy as piss, and I'm gonna make as many lightsabers as possible. You have done extremely well in constructing your lightsaber, Apprentice. These crystals are very rare, found only in certain caves. Oh, right, okay. Force. So you can, like, modify By it. adding crystals to your lightsaber, you can alter or enhance its properties. There have even been unconfirmed rumours of certain Force-sensitive caves here on Dantooine. Okay, so... I can find crystals on Dantooine. Only, but you must learn first to use your lightsaber and take care when drawing it. Your lightsaber identifies you as a member of the Jedi Order. With such recognition comes honour and respect. The Sith and Dark Jedi will seek to destroy you, Apprentice. And you must prove yourself worthy in battle against a foe who also wields a lightsaber. Oh shit. Are you ready to face the final <gasps> challenge? Juhani. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm ready to face the third trial. For every Jedi, the threat of the dark side is always present. I bet it's Juhani. You must truly understand this before you are accepted into the Order. Even here on Dantooine, there are places where the dark side holds sway. The ancient grove, once used for deep meditation by the Jedi, is now tainted. A wave of darkness perverts the region around it. Ooh. The cath hounds in the area have become Yes, it is. It's Juhani. They have become Juhani and a cath hounds. A threat the Jedi have promised to stop. Okay, what would you have me do, Master Zar? The cath hounds are but a symptom of the true problem. Uh, you know more than you're telling me. I can say no more. But remember this, my young apprentice. A Jedi acts with patience and care. The dark side still taints the ancient grove. Right, okay. So yeah, basically we're going to get there, and there's going to be a fuck ton of calf hounds, and Juhani, who is going to be like a Padawan that has fallen to the dark side, is going to be there. And hopefully... I mean, there's a couple of options that you can do. I'm going to try and go the light way of... Getting her to like join you and stuff, which is gonna be difficult if I don't have a high enough persuasion. Oh hello, don't I? I mean, I've got no interest in you personally. I'm just having a look around. Um, I don't know if I'm a high enough level to be doing that mission. I suppose we'll find out, won't we? Uh, there's also a couple of other little side missions bobbing around. Um, where do we want to be going? What's that? To outer courtyard. I've just gone past that. Have I? Oh, it's here. Hello. Little Jedi droid. No problem. Didn't work. Oh. The council has decreed you may come and build. Oh, good. Thank you, C3PO 3.0. Um. So yeah, there's like loads of little side missions that you can do. For example, you can go find the missing girl. Um. You can go ahead and do like a little CSI murder mystery thing. Oh my god, there's a fucking mantis up there. Nemo! 
I remember you. Why do I remember you? It is good sometimes to stop and reflect on the beauty of nature and the force. Why do I, I remember am you? I'm sorry. I tend to get carried away. Is there something I can help you with? Um. I've been given a task by the council. Indeed. What is it you would like from me? Uh, oh, never well. mind. Never is mind. there something? No, no, I no. Your time There's is... something about you, and I can't remember what it is. Gar and Rilke, hello. Greetings, friend. I... I am merely an apprentice, not oh, a Jedi. I'm so... Does the council require? Um, I'm sorry, I do not know. Oh, I see. How may I be of assistance? Farewell. Nothing, then. I don't think. John. Are you a Jedi? Oh. How long can you people continue to sit by and claim you protect us, protectors? Ha! You sit in your enclave safe from the Mandalorians while we suffer. Okay, okay, okay. Mandalorians, they were... Oh, they were beaten in the last war. No. They've been raiding planets across this sector and farms around here often. You Jedi have left them alone because they haven't harmed you. But they steal our property. Those Mandalorian brutes have killed my daughter. You should have protected her better. Oh, shit. And you call yourself her father. And what am I supposed to do against a dozen Mandalorians and Duros? Nothing. They came to our land demanding our livelihood. But Ilsa. My Ilsa. Um, you didn't try and stop them? There was nothing I could do. I've come here to ask you, please, Master Jedi, stop these raiders and get revenge for my daughter. I mean, I'm all about killing people. Um... <laughs> Uh, those animals, I'll kill them for what they did to your daughter. There we go, dark side points gained. <laughs> I was trying to, like, agree with him and make sure that I was definitely going against these people. Adam Larp. Oh my god, there's a calf hound up there. I think there's a calf hound, anyway. Elise, who are you? Greetings, young Jedi. I wonder if you could assist me. I seem to have lost my companion, you see? Oh yeah. Your companion. We were working on my farm to the north of here. I heard the door to the house open, but not close. I went to see and found it wide open. Okay. I searched everywhere and could not find him. I worry so much. Um Is it, it oh it is possible maybe it was the Mandalorians. Or maybe Cathounds. Cathounds are not intelligent enough to open doors. Although they have been more vicious lately. No. It must have been someone who could open the door by himself. Come to think of it, the door was locked. Okay. Could it have been open from the inside? Well, yes, it could have. Okay. You expect me to run off to find some stupid well, droid? Yes. Uh, he is a droid, but he is very valuable to me all this. He is right, okay, yeah, okay, I know only... what's happened here. Um... What exactly did you use him for again? He is a personal assistant okay. droid. My husband was a genius at constructing droids. As the last legacy okay, of Okay, 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 I see. My own personal He's your sex mind. droid. Please, I beg of you. I understand. I will help you find your droid. Thank you. Um, so I think this droid ran away on its own. I don't remember who Adam Larp is. Who are you? Greetings, fellow sentient. I notice that you're not heavily armed, or at least not heavily armed enough. Oh, you're a... Bah, ha, 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 ha. You're a thing, aren't you? You're a merchant. Uh, let me see what you've got. Cause, oh, shit, wait, what? You've got a mission? Ah, oh, okay. Highest quality weapons. Alright, what have you got? What are you selling? <gasps> what are these? Fet armor! Fet armor! I don't know what that is, but I want it! <gasps> what a war armor! I don't know what any of this is, but I, I want the Fet armor. Ooh. Ew. I don't know if I'm able to get it. I don't think I am. You're gonna have to bear with me a minute, mate, because I haven't got any actual armor on. Um. Let's get that on him. What? Sorry, Candorous. I know it's probably not too flattering for you. Holy shit. Sinagar War Suit. It's a shame that you can't like preview some of these. But I really, really want some. I really want the Cassus the Cassus Fet armor and the Sinagar War Suit. Uh I don't know what I could actually sell though. 
Unless I, well, I don't really need the vibro blades anymore. But that's not going to be enough. We'll get rid of them anyway. Get rid of all these blasters, because we've got um, Candorous and fucking Chewy 2.0 with us. I guess get rid of all these. Cardio package? I'm getting rid of as much as possible. Um, I can't actually use any of this stuff, or at least I've not been able to recently. I don't know if it's something that I've done. Um, let's just get one of each. And then, I don't think we'll need ion grenades. We've reached 3,000. Is that enough? 15! <laughs> it's nowhere near enough. Right, let's just get the Sinegar War suit for now. Yes, I'm sure. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's a beauty. Um, Do you want to wear Davik's War suit? Yes. There we go. You're like Davik 2.0 now, aren't you? Let me save my game. 